Welcome back. Kohler, Wisconsin is, of course, known for a lot of things. World-class golf, incredible shopping, a luxurious spa and a design center that showcases the city's renowned plumbing products. But today, we're going to put the spotlight on the restaurants there. That's right. The head chef at the American Club actually let Molly into the kitchen. <laughs> Surprise. So here's a look at some of the divine dining available in Kohler. So what'll it be? An historic tavern or a four-star restaurant? Juicy burger or a great steak? Casual or fancy? It's easy to find a place here that'll suit your style, tempt your taste buds, and quench your thirst. Kohler, Wisconsin is obviously known for its championship golf courses, but there's another experience here that's not to be missed, and that's dining at one of the great restaurants here. Come on inside, I'll show you what's on the menu. Here's where our culinary tour starts. This is the Wisconsin room at the world-famous American Club, and this is Chef Rick's kitchen. He took me behind the burners to show me how to make a wild mushroom driftless cheese ravioli. It's made with locally harvested produce, seasonal ingredients, and it's 100% made from scratch. Yeah, all fresh stuff, right? All beautiful. Okay. Morel mushrooms, ramps okay. were picked this week. Uh, cola grown pearl oyster mushrooms. Ramps, uh, are those like green onions? They're similar to green onions. They're, uh, they're wild onions. They pop up uh, this time in the spring when there's lots of rain and the weather starts to warm up, so we're real excited. So we start by making a carrot puree. Yeah, the Wisconsin Room is our farm and table restaurant, so you can find this dish actually uh, in the Wisconsin room. So I'm gonna let you take over here, okay, but perfect. what we have in this pot is just a little carrot juice. While that boils, we start working on the ravioli sauce and grilling the mushrooms. Oh, Molly, that looks great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're a good teacher. Things are going so well here that I feel comfortable heading to the restaurant and leaving Chef Rick in charge. Chef, thank you so much for letting me hang out in your kitchen. Well, thanks for coming. I'm really looking forward to the finished product. Me too. So I'm going to let you plate it up and I'll meet you up in the dining room, okay? It sounds like a great All plan. Right, thanks. See you there. The farm fresh food from this kitchen always changes with the season, and the atmosphere in the dining room is both elegant and approachable. Okay, Molly, here's our masterpiece that you worked so hard on. Hey, Chef, this is fan fantastic. The color is beautiful. Thank you. Again, that's our uh, wild mushroom and driftless cheese ravioli with some fava beans, the whipped carrot puree, and there's a little balsamic glaze on there, too. It looks fantastic. Okay, should we bon dig appetit. in? Absolutely. Below the Wisconsin room, you'll find a very elite dining experience. The Immigrant Restaurant won Wine Spectator's Best Of Award for Excellence and a four-star rating from Forbes. There are six rooms in this showcase restaurant, each one honoring the style of early Wisconsin settlers from France to Germany to England. That's our four-star restaurant, really focusing on the best product that the season has to offer. Open Tuesday through, through Saturday for dinner only. It's adjacent to the winery bar, which really has a nice European feel. We have a great selection of wines and scotches down there. And the winery bar is just down the hall, and it offers almost 500 highly rated wine selections. But that's not the only thing they're known for. They also make some fantastic signature cocktails. In fact, we're going to whip one up today. Jason is here. He's a mixologist. He's a sommelier. He's a certified spirit specialist. And we're making a martini today with fresh ingredients, right? Yes, yes indeed, absolutely. Uh, this is one of our signature uh, cocktails that we've done. Uh, once we really kind of got into the focus of doing cocktails fresh, fresh ingredients, uh, this was one of the first that we came up with, and uh, I mean, it's been a hit for years. It's called the Carrot 43. Jason tells me it's because it took 43 tries to get it just right. We're going to start with our high quality gin. Uh, this is Hendrix. Okay. Uh, really nice, light floral gin. Okay. and uh, has a little bit of cucumber and rose water to it as well. Moving on to the other spirit in this, this is going to be our Cointreau. Okay. So uh, this is an orange liqueur, about three quarters of an ounce as well. Okay. So right now, good solid martini. We've already got two ounces of booze, so we're off to a good start. Add to that some fresh squeezed lemon, OJ, and the star ingredient, fresh squeezed carrot juice. Visitors love this fresh orange cocktail so much that Carrot 43 has never been taken off the menu. So the reason we're making two is because you can't drink alone. <laughs> so I'm going to have you just kind of shake over the top right. of it and switch sides How for fun. How am I doing so far? Perfect, perfect. All right. Garnish with fresh cucumber and bottoms up. Cheers. Mmm. That is good. There's a reason they keep coming back for it. The winery bar is perfect for a pre-dinner drink. They also serve small plates. But let's say you want to grab a bite to eat somewhere a little more casual. You'll find that at the American Club, too. 
The Horse and Plow is a super fun, casual, sort of public atmosphere. They've got like 20 beers on tap. If you visit, you've got to get the cheese curds. They're amazing. And the beer cheese soup and the fresh made pretzel bites. Okay, and the cowboy burger too. The Horse and Plow is a historic tavern that was once a tap room for workers at the American Club. The booths are cozy and the tabletops are all made from an original bowling alley. It's recently renovated and now there's a fireplace and couches, a great place to meet for lunch or an after dinner drink. Just a short drive from the American Club, you'll find some other Kohler dining favorites, both stylishly located on one of Kohler's grand golf courses. Black Wolf Run Restaurant is an American grill focusing on hearty American fare, great seafood and steaks and chops off the, off the grill. And then of course, Whistling Straits, uh, everybody's favorite, located on Lake Michigan in, in an Irish barn. Chef there is focusing on uh, great seasonal items uh, with a little Irish flair and then of course there's an Irish pub upstairs too if you want it. A little bit more of a casual dining experience there. Black Wolf Run has panoramic views of this award-winning championship golf course. And then there's another restaurant not far away that's also situated on a beautiful golf course. Whistling Straits Restaurant is known for its food and its view of Lake Michigan. Here at the restaurant at Whistling Straits overlooking a beautiful golf course, you can enjoy one of the signature dishes. This is the potato leek soup and it comes with a shot of cream of sherry. But they say you should try the soup first before you add it. This restaurant is located inside a rustic Irish clubhouse and it serves signature dishes from rack of lamb to sticky toffee pudding. Visit Kohler, Wisconsin and you will easily find a restaurant to suit your taste. They all use locally harvested fresh produce, seasonal ingredients and choice cuts of meat. The award-winning dining is just another great reason to make a day trip to Kohler. Come and see and taste for yourself. Cheers. Great Cheers. job. Thank you, you too. Wow, is it ever good. And now you have a great opportunity to enjoy all of Kohler's great restaurants during Restaurant Week. It runs December 15th to the 21st. It's like speed dating for your taste buds because there are special menus Next. at very Next. special <laughs> prices, exactly, ranging from $20 to $65. So call the number on your screen to make reservations right now. Or for more details, visit the website at destinationkohler.com slash restaurant week. How rude that you didn't bring me to that. I know, I'm sorry.